Thank you all for coming. We are here to celebrate my mom and dad's 30 years of marriage as they renew their vows. Uh, most of us were not around to be there for their marriage, so I'm grateful to celebrate this milestone with them and all of you. Throughout these years, you both have shared the joys, the blessings, and yes, the challenges of married life for the 30 years. May this ceremony for the renewal of vows you both took to become husband and wife on your wedding day remind you that despite the inevitable stresses of life, your love, trust, respect, and understanding of one another will continue to increase your joy of living with each other. Without further ado, the couple will now recite their own vows to each other before I continue. Lily, in 1992, I pledge to love you in sickness and in health, and for better or for worse. The past 30 years has tested those vows. I stand here today to renew those vows. I thank God for blessing me with you and a beautiful family. God only knows all the prayers and trials we experience, but here we are going through life together. It doesn't seem that long ago. I thank you for putting up with me and all my faults. I'm still working on a lot of them. Most good things in life that last are easy. But the rewards are much greater. You make me a better person. I can't imagine not having you in my life. I look forward to sharing more of our future together. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Not really sure where to start, so I'm just going to start with this. I vow to decrease the amount of Amazon packages per week. <laughs> I promise not to keep score and sequence, even though I'm totally winning. <laughs> wow, 30 years. We were just a bunch of kids trying to figure out life, each from dysfunctional families, seeking to learn from them and do better. 
I'm not the easiest person to live with. It definitely hasn't been perfect. Everyone here can probably attest to some of those imperfections. But as we know, God works all things for the good of those who love him. And he knew exactly what he was doing when he gave me to you 30 years ago. During the birth of our three children, I would yell at you and blame you for the pain. And you did not let go, but held my hand even tighter. When the kids became teenagers and tried to play us against each other, we became a force to be reckoned with. When I lost my sister, my mom, and this year my dad, all very low moments in my life, you were there to literally hold me together. You're the hardest working person I know, not just with work, but especially with our marriage. And that's what today is about, us celebrating the hard work that's been put into this, because it doesn't happen on its own. It takes a lot of work, blood and tears, but with you, it's all worth it, and it's paying off. We've broken relational patterns and set a new standard for our children to hopefully follow. And after all these years, you still make me feel safe. You still make me feel happy. Do you take each other to having to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and until death do you part? <laughs> As witnesses to these vows before God and all of your family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Pailoa. Hey! Dad, you may kiss mom to seal your vow. <laughs> One more time for me. I miss it. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>